Hello Sagittarius, it's Melanie from Melanie's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August, I mean, sorry, July 31st through August 7th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Whoop. So, somebody is starting to actualize things for what they really are. You're starting to see Things and people for who they are. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. And email me and we can set something up. Okay, so. I think I said sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, okay, let's get this show on the road because I'm forgetting something, but maybe I remember later. Alright, some secrets going on. About somebody making a sacrifice for somebody who is in and out of somebody's life. But this person, you really don't want them. But they trying to make you make a sacrifice. Ooh, but you might be pregnant by them. Or you have a child by them. That's why you like even thinking about them. Or you might have got, gotten them pregnant. Okay? Only reason you're thinking about it. Alright. So Sagittarius, July 31st through August 7th, 2017. Thing is, that just fell right out of my hand. It's like I'm getting the feeling that I can't hold on to anything. Everything just keeps slipping out of my hand. So, all right. So this is the baby thing again. Okay. So something going on with baby, or maybe you're just fertile, or something like that. Oh, some of you, I'm getting the sense that you're pregnant and you don't realize it, or. You're fertile and you don't realize it. Okay? Mm. Okay, I'm seeing another story here. Here I'm seeing like somebody has somebody new in their life and they feel like that they are violating their personal space. I feel like somebody got pregnant. Or somebody impregnated somebody, and then right after that, they just start treating them different. Like, you mind now, I own you. I can say what I want. I can do what I want to you, you know? And at first, it's like you wasn't looking at it for that, but now it's just like a, hmm. Okay. I get it. All right, so this makes me feel like, ah. Uh, it's all about the sex here. Like, mm, that's the only reason anybody was ever in this relationship I'm feeling like right now. Ooh, you got a story. Let's see what this is talking about. All right, so somebody feels demasculated. Somebody feels like somebody is sucking the life out of them. Somebody has a third party, and this third party lifts the burdens. It makes them feel like that they're worth something, that, you know, that... um I don't know. It makes them feel like they're not sorry. I feel like in this relationship, the person is feeling like they're sorry. And then in the sideline relationship, this person treating them like a queen or a king. All right. So you guys are attracted to each other, but there is no sex going on. And I feel like this is because these boundaries are being broken. It's like, I don't want to sleep with you. Why are you doing all this crazy stuff? It's just like a feeling of disgust. That's why I'm not sleeping with you. You know, you're you're handsome and you're beautiful and all, but you just nasty. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so I feel like it's also a long-distance relationship, too. So that could have a, a issue of why they're not sleeping together, too. Or you guys aren't. All right, one more for the road. All right, so yeah, this seems like a fairly give and take relationship. I mean, judging by this card and the card around them, it's like I don't see a lot of greed going on. You know, I feel like there's a lot of mental reaching out, but it's only like, it's just not, I feel like it's just poor communication here, you know? Mm. All right, there it is. Uh, somebody just sucking the life out of them. I feel like your partner feel like you are doing this. Okay, so, all right. What's going on with the 
Sagittarius, Sagittarius, July 31st through August 7th. Sagittarius, July. What you got here? Mm. So somebody is trying to recover from something. All right, we'll see. Mm. So I feel like for some of you, you jumped out of one relationship right into another one and messed around and got pregnant. I mean, that's just for some of Jesus. Let's see what's going on here. So somebody poor, communicating poorly about money or spending money poorly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like it might be a female just dumping water out and then somebody with structure, or maybe it's the Aries that ran away in the middle of the night. Yeah, somebody that you care about, that's probably like that in and out card. I don't know where it went. But somebody is trying to stack up money because they're angry and they're ready to go. Like, I'm sick of this. Mm. All right, what's going on with this area? Mm, somebody feels stabbed in the back. Okay, somebody definitely is pregnant. I, I probably flipped this around, but I didn't see it on. I don't know. Yeah, but somebody is pregnant. Somebody's starting a new beginning. I just had a flash in my head that somebody is starting a new relationship with somebody else, but they're pregnant by somebody else, but they know it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows it. Like I know you're pregnant by him, but I love you. Or I know you got her pregnant, but I love you. It's that kind of situation. All right. Ooh. So basically, it's fate that this relationship is going to be over. That's what I'm seeing from here. Mm. But somebody is waiting for something. That's crazy. Three major arcanas. You got to be kidding me. All right. So somebody is going to want revenge. So I feel like this... You going to take the baby that somebody else made with you and take it somewhere else. Ah, yeah. Or, I mean, it could be a, a business project, maybe a new business that y'all got started. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling baby here. But you're taking it with somebody else. Yeah, somebody going to want revenge. So, basically, make sure you change all the bank accounts. All right, so we got the death card. Death card, death card. This is like, I think I got the death card in every reading I did today. I don't know what's going on. All right, so, but everybody's doing transformation. It is like the end of the summer, too. So, it's like you're changing from going to the park and stuff to finding more inside things to do, you know, bowling or pool or something like that. All right, so, um, death card, a, a drastic change. The end of a current situation in death, life begins again. The beginning of new situation. All right, then you have the world card. This card says, uh, you may be taking a trip soon or changing residence. Your world will see more options and possibilities. This is a time where anything is possible. Then you have the hangman. Um, a time of change. Remove yourself from a situation and watch. You will see the answer. You may not know what to choose. Allow yourself to time to make a decision determine if the situation is more positive or negative this made me jump straight back to the x the x basically see which one is better before you go and and choose one of them you know i feel like one of them is emotionally draining and i feel like the other one i remember the car said the other one is there for you and they don't mind that you're pregnant by somebody else or you got somebody else pregnant they still want to be there for you so it's basically like think about the situations hard you know because it's more than just that to it so i'm not gonna make no opinion because i am not in that situation you know more than i do so we got the queen of swords reverse unresolved issue revenge and misdirected anger so, yeah, somebody's going to be pissed off at you because you're leaving them. But in reality, you're leaving them because they were such an asshole. You wasn't doing what you were supposed to be doing as a person, and you can't get mad, you know? It seems like you are trying to change your life for the better, get things that are better for you, your business, or your baby. And this person just wanted to hold you back. You know, you already left them, and they still spilling negativity on you. But... I don't know. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. 
Um, and, and make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thank you guys and have a great week.